So Martin, first question about the game last night against Dresden. What made what, what made the difference in this game? Um, I gotta say uh, we worked hard uh, throughout the 60 minutes. We we did the job what we were asked to do, and uh, we were just waiting for our chances, and uh, we capitalized in the last period, and that made the difference. If you sum up the first games of the season so far, would you say Freiburg is beyond the expectations or behind it? I would say um, we want to have a little bit more up front. Like, uh, we, we had a couple of games in hand where we didn't come up with points and, and those are big three points we, we messed up and uh, we were still working hard to get those, those points back. You now scored three game winners in a row. <laughs> Did you ever have that in your career? Well, uh, first I gotta get that mistake out. Yesterday it wasn't my goal, it was Toby Breiner. Okay. But I don't remember having two in a row, you know, <laughs> especially the way we, it worked out. So I'm pretty happy that I got that done and, and I'm still working to get more in and, and, and be a big part of this team. Um, you started your career as a center, is that right? Yes. And when did you switch positions into the defense? Uh, long story, but long story short, I, uh, when I was 17 I changed to a defense and when I was about uh, 25 I changed back to forward, 24, 25 mm -hmm. and uh, four years ago I changed as a D again. Was that also the reason that you took some face-offs in the last game, couple of games? Yes, uh, I, we, we had a little talk and uh, they know that I, play, I used to play center, so we, we tried something different and it worked pretty well in the first couple of games. The last couple I didn't really have so much ex uh, success, but uh, we're working on that one too. How do you decide if you take the face-off or someone else? It's uh, it's all about positioning. It's um, the line got sent on. It's usually on a, on a, on a PP when I got throw up front. So if I see that I'm the only natural centerman who used to play a lot of center, then I'll take the draw. If uh, if you play for the Hungarian national team, you played in Italy last year. Now here in Freiburg, it's different leagues, different coaches, different styles. How do you adopt to all these different environments? Well, it usually takes time too. So um, it takes a little time to adopt it. But I think I'm one of those guys. It's, uh, I hope that I feel like it's easy to work with and I can adopt to any, any systems because I play so many places. So I'll, by the time I pick up the, the game, it's just start clicking and then we start, start playing better and better. Is there something now after these 20 games that you can say, this is Freiburg style? What makes this team so... I think, uh, I think our style is that we're, we're working hard and, and we're protecting our goalie as much as possible. So we work hard, really hard in, uh, in our defensive zone. And then we're trying to be creative in the offensive zone. We got a lot of talent up top and, and we just let them play. You said recently in an interview with his stadium magazine ERC Live from Freiburg that coming here with Frankfurt, you didn't like the Freiburg team. <laughs> well, well it's, it's what I'm talking about. We got some talents in, in up front. They had those guys there that time too and, and they were defending their, their net pretty hard, so it was tough to play here. And I think that was our, our first loss of that season. And we had a really hard time in, in, in Frankfurt too. I think it was like a one goal game. Yes. About the game tomorrow in Kassel. Yeah. Uh, Freiburg now had three wins in a row. On the other hand, Kassel lost against uh, Bayreuth on Friday, but they're still the champion of this yeah. league. Exactly. Uh, what do you think about tomorrow? I think we're still underdogs, but we play like underdogs. So we're defending hard and then we'll take our opportunities with the puck when we have it. And then we'll see what happens. It's, we're going out every game, we try to win it. It doesn't matter who we play against. It doesn't matter if it's the champion or the last place team. It's the same way, we gotta work our system, we gotta work, be disciplined, be hungry to get the pucks and then work hard from that and we'll see at the end result. 
After that on Monday, I don't think on Monday you have a day day off. There is no practice on Monday. Yes, there, I, I don't think so. What do you do on a day off? I'm spending some time with the family. I'm happy that I can be home. I take the kids in the morning. I take a little relax in the, when they're not home. But I, after I go pick them up, we we do something. We walk around or go to a, a Spielplatz or just just having fun with the kids and my wife. When I checked out the stats and see all the places you've been in your career now, where do you feel at home? I feel at home right now here. So we we set up as living here now. My big daughter Olivia is in school. So Christina, my wife, and uh, Alma, my small kid, they both feel like we're home. So we try to we try to keep that stable now. Have you been to the Freiburg Christmas market? It opened already or do you have plans to go there? I got plans to go there. I, I didn't have time to go there yet, but uh, for sure we're going to do that with family and then I think we got a, we got a team, team event there too. Okay, Martin, thank you for the interview and of course good luck for tomorrow for the Gaming Castle. Thank you very much.